Presets are great when you operate a PC camera, but it's difficult to keep track of them if you go beyond five or something like that. You will keep lists and write preset number one is my wide shot, preset two is close up, and you'll continue like that. What if your presets could be visual? And that's what we have invented on a, an increasing number of our controllers. You'll find that there are color displays. We can use those to show you visual thumbnails of your preset record. So in this video, we'll explore exactly that. And not only for cameras that support taking the thumbnail out of them. That would be cameras like Panasonic and, and Canon cameras in general. Those allows us to pull the thumbnail out of the camera the moment we store the preset. But any camera. We want to do that for any camera. And therefore, we have invented the FrameLink. So FrameLink is an application that runs on your blue pill, either the blue pill server like this one, or if you have a blue pill inside panel, you can run it by attaching a USB grabber device to the USB-A port of your blue pill server or your blue pill inside product. So basically, you can use any grabber, USB grabber for doing this. In this case, we have a cheap, simple, HDMI input, web camera on USB output going into the blue pill. And you can see this is the display. And the little trick here is that the three cameras we have connected are going into a multi-view. And that multi-view allows us to grab the signal from either of the cameras as we are storing presets. Now, first, I want to show you what visual presets can do for you. So you look at this camera selector and you see the selected camera currently. If I press this button, I get to this view and I get exactly that framing. If I press this one, I get this framing that the thumbnail is showing me. If I go to a different camera, you can see that with this camera, and now let me just get a little bit away from here. Okay, like that. If I want this preset, it's clearly shown to me that I will get a close up of the car. And on the on the second camera here, let's get away from this view. I would also know that I would get to this framing if I press that. So that's exactly what visual presets are. Now let's try to create a few of them so you can see how easy it is to work with. So for instance, let's just zoom in on Princess Leia here and say, okay, that's the preset we want to have as preset number well two. Well, I don't care if it's two or 34 or whatever, because my thumbnail is going to show me what I get. So that's really the point. And let's just move over here and find something else. There are these two Chinese warriors here. So we'll just have preset number three being those. The, the way I store the preset is really just pressing and holding. And this is how we do it on Skyhoy controllers. You have seen that a ton of times if you follow our videos. So just press and hold, you save the preset. And in this case, we are also grabbing the thumbnail from the FrameLink application on the blue pill. So recall, just press the button and we quickly go to the preset that we have saved. Like that. And here. Yep. Okay, let's move to this one. There we have the car. Let's just move over to a different framing. We'll take these two Star Wars characters and press and hold on preset number two. We'll just zoom in, make a clo close up here. Like take this one. All right. See if we can get it into focus. Autofocus is obviously enabled here. Maybe zoom out a slight bit. All right, there we have something in focus. I'll save this on preset number eight. So we can have, you know, presets even more than that. We have pages of presets, so we can go up to 16. That's not an issue, 20 actually. But now I can recall these. Yep, recall, recall, recall. And as I'm recalling these presets, I see exactly what I get in the thumbnails on the buttons. There we go. Okay, so. You see the functionality of the frame link, how we are grabbing these thumbnails and we can recall these presets. But how do you set this whole thing up? So the rest of the video will be dedicated to giving you some insight into that. But to talk a little bit about our setup, I want to stress to you guys that what we have right here is just one application, one possible way of doing this that integrates Unisketch controllers, which is the technology we've been basing ourselves on for a decade. And now we have Blue Pill, and that comes in two flavors, either as the Blue Pill server, which in this case is your FrameLink host device. It's actually the one that runs the whole show. So the Blue Pill is currently connecting to the cameras, it is grabbing frames, and it is also running these two panels. 
But you also find that these panels are available with Blue Pill inside. So if you are in the market for buying a new MKA2 controller uh, or this combo where these two are really brought together as a as a single PDC controller by the Blue Pill here, you can have them with Blue Pill inside, and that means the uh, Blue Pill power is inside of the controller, and there's a USB-A port next to the Ethernet jack where you can plug in your frame link capture device for all of those cameras that do not have a a direct stream coming out of them that we can work with. So you can do this in many ways, but in this case, we are using the Blue Pill as the master device. And you see that in the configuration UI, which is right here. We have the Blue Pill set up here, and it is connected to a um, uh, MKA2 and MKA1 panel, which is working together in this combined configuration. Over in the right side, it's very important that you notice that we have the Skahoy Framelink via USB-A installed. So this is a package that you need to go and install in the Packages tab. It is um, visible right here, Skahoy uh, Framelink. If you click this, you can see some details about it and uh, it, there's a lock and so on. That's probably only useful if you have an issue that you need to debug. But uh, Packages is, uh, if, if it's not in this list, and it probably is not, then you would just go to Available Packages and search for Framelink. It will pop up, you press the Install button and it gets up in this list and it will probably get started and running as well. So it should look more or less like this and you would have access to the Framelink. So back in the home screen, the Framelink is on the right side and um, it is uh, something that you would add by pressing the Add Device button here in the, in the bottom of the screen. Then you could add the frame link, and if you click in on it, then you see that it has a device ID. It has a, a model ID that's probably only this single one. Um, and you could put in a description. But it's really basic because it doesn't even have an IP address in this case. But you need that frame link device in the system and the package to support it as well. Then in the camera selector, this is where it gets important because for your three cameras we have set up on this controller, you'll find that the frame link window is a number indicating how to get that frame out of the frame link. And this is where you go to our wiki page, where we, by the way, have a lot of information on this. So go to wiki.skahoy.com, go to Blue Pill Manuals, Blue Pill Reactor, Thumbnail Presets, Devices Without Native Thumbnail Support. And here you have a full page explaining you those details. So you can read that for yourself, but what we need as a reference right now is whether we have a single camera feed coming in, or if it's a quad view, or if it's a, a uh, four by four um, a view, uh, or, or like multi-viewer from a switcher that we are grabbing the thumbnail out of. And in this case, it's the quad view. So the numbers two, three, four, and five are basically coming from here and populating this one. So the, the middle camera here is grabbed on my uh, quad view as the, the, the first upper left um, quadrant on the quad view, and that's what this number means according to this graphic right here. So that's how you tell the frame link which portion of the incoming signal that you want to, to grab as the thumbnail for that camera. So that's it, basically. There's just one thing that you need to enable as well before the USB-A port on your Blue Pill or your Blue Pill Inside product will be able to accept the input from a um, USB frame grabber device. And that is, inside of settings, you need to locate the USB-A box down here and make sure this is enabled. Otherwise, it won't talk to it. Probably you need to reboot the device as well. But this one has to be enabled for the frame grabber to work. So there are a number of things there, which is all covered in this video. Otherwise, go to our Wiki page for more details. Apart from that, the rest of the MK1 and 2 bundle is really just one PDC controller driven from the blue pill here and brought together as a single modular controller with this configuration that you, uh, you have been uh, shown uh, right here. And it has all the features you have seen in other videos. It's a, what we call a pro class configuration, and that means that all the settings that you have available in the menu structure over here is available on the eight encoders on top. So you can just navigate through those. You have a paging function here. And actually what you see behind this is our brand new Bird Dog exclusive configuration that is, uh, th this is the one that we have applied to these cameras. So that gives you extensive access to such as color matrix on these amazing cameras. And um, apart from that, we have, of course, also the paging for the, for the presets that will page you through the, the different thumbnails that you have. And um, 
Um, that's uh, basically what happens when you br bring these two together. In fact, you could this associate this one with the MK2 if you wanted to. Then all you needed to do was to change this configuration to that one, and now your MK2 would be a standalone PDC controller. So. As you can see, you can go modular or you can go single with Skyhoy controllers. And that's basically the vision behind all the models you find in our, in our product lineup that you can bring them together and you can use them separately depending on what you need. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to our sales and support team because they will be happy to answer them for you. And follow us on social media. This is where you get updated on all the new things that we are doing and, of course, Stay tuned for more videos on our YouTube channel.